Yo, welcome back to my channel and I'm Kev you. Yeah, P H E W. Okay, so in this video I will make Hyper 3D tutorial, actually remake. And I've made the tutorial about Hyper 3D in these two videos. You can watch it too, but in that two videos I use Indonesian language. Maybe some of you ask me why I remake this tutorial because many people can make it many people can make a hyper 3d and they are who can make a hyper 3d always ask me a question a same question like bang gua kok kagak bisa sih bikin hyper 3d nya kok optical flow nya kagak ada sih di premiere gua itu gimana sih cara sih bang kok gua gak bisa terus kok gak bisa di render ya bang ya so yeah just like that but some people understand and they can make it a hyper 3d after watching my tutorial okay right here right now i will remake in detail plus there are a few new things that i want to give in hyper 3d like this one Oh yeah, why do I now use English language? Because I see a lot of comments in my video from people suggest that I should use English because I previously use subtitles in my video, many video I use subtitles. But I apologize in advance that my English language is not very good. And here I want to try it to speak English. I want to try it while learning. Okay, instead of the time, we just go straight to the tutorial. Okay, let's go. Wait, I just forget something. I forgot the intro. Dad, let's start the intro. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, you need a picture. Yeah, you need a photo picture. So at least you need nine picture minimum, minimum, minimum. Yeah, at least you need nine picture to make a hyper 3D. But the basic here are like 3D source copic. So the technique I use in the initial three picture taken from left to right and the pose is full body force. Then we take the next three picture with half body and finally three more picture from left to right are close up. So yeah. And one more thing, place for the model when being photographed to remain still and not move at all. Yeah. That the technique I always use and uh, for the rotate ones like this one you can take the photos from full body to portrait or close up so you can take the picture in the zigzag way like I'm doing this okay next we go to editing if there are at least nine picture you go straight to the photoshop and you open it the photoshop here i am using a photoshop cc 2020 after you open it the photoshop create a new and choose a size of 1080 divided 1350 and the format use pixel after that you enter the nine picture that you took and all the picture must be in sequentially here my photos are in sequentially after that you turn off all the visibility the bottom one you just turn on okay in the first picture you turn on the visibility first and in the second picture you turn on the visibility too this is called stitching in the second picture you lower the opacity to 50 percent so that you fit the picture at two points eyes and nose when the position is right you can return the opacity to 100 then the third photo how to do it the same as before like this and for the rotate zigzag you have to stitch too until it finishes and the point that must be equalized is at least one point i use it on the nose okay if you finish stitching you just turn off all the visibility from your old picture but the first picture at the bottom you just turn on the visibility and then go to the window menu and click the timeline 
if, if you don't find it, you just go to the help menu and type timeline. After that, you click and then create video timeline. Here we click again in the lower left corner, convert to frame animation. After that, you click duplicate selected frames according to the number of your picture. Here is my picture have 9. I click duplicate to 9. After that, there are 9 frames. Here for frames number 1 is for the bottom picture that is in layers. For the second frame, you select pictures number 2 from the layers below and turn on its visibility. And then do the same thing for the third frame to 9. If you finish, we will go to export this Hyper 3D. You click the file menu, then you click export, and then click save for web legacy. In this menu, many people are wrong, so that later when it is entered into Premiere Pro, it doesn't match. So you follow the steps. Here, you change the format into GIF and change the color reduction to adaptive. After that, you just export, nothing else to change it. Okay, one more time, when you export, is here save as there must be a gif behind the file name so if there is no name of the gif you can export it to the premiere pro later so make sure you type gif okay when we go to the premiere pro here i am using the 2019 cc version i want to remember you if cs version won't work later and the cc version will be at least in 2015 yeah Okay, if you have uh, opened it, Premiere Pro, just click open a new project or create a new sequence and here the format I use is and here the format I use is the same as the one in Photoshop, uh, 1080 compared to 1350 and I use the frame per second at 13 FPS. After that, you just can enter or just slide or you just can drag it the GIF file to the timeline, okay? And then, if there is no GIF format in that your file, you can enter the file into the Premiere Pro because that layer it says file not supported. Okay. So you don't need to re-export from Photoshop. Just add the name. Be a GIF point. Just add the name GIF. After that, you just drag it one more time to the Premiere Pro and it will works. Okay. After you enter the file, first thing first in the Premiere Pro, set in the motion and then set the position and scale so that there is no picture it's cut off like this. If everything is done, you just have to right click and select speed and duration. It, here you change it to 3 seconds. Why? Because there are 9 hours of picture, so we just change it to 3 seconds. And one more, you change the interpolation time to optical flow from frame size to optical flow and then do the same thing for the rotate zigzag hyper 3d do the same thing that the same way after it's finished one more thing why is video stop playing and the effect is not visible on your lines and your timelines are yellow or red which is a sign that the effect is a bit heavy you can change the timeline to green by clicking sequence and you select render into out and when it's green the effect will come out if it becomes like this i suggest you not to give it any effect because it will be heavy when you want to play the video so here you guys first export the video like this and you drag the video that you have export let be and then yeah voila you can enter the song you want you can copy paste the video and then you can also enter the effect you want okay last one i'll try to edit it and i'll show you and i use this song and i will adjust the video to the bit of the song it's very easy and yeah like this This is the result.
oke okay? go back to the studio Oke, okay, just like that. What do you think? It's very easy, right, to make hyper trading. And I am not going to repeat again how to make a hyper trading. And I will not make a tutorial again how to make a hyper trading. So if you guys still can make a hyper trading, I'll just say one thing: try harder, bro. So just like that for the tutorial. And I'm sorry if my way to speaking English is not really good. And I know it. I realize that that I'm not really good at English language. I will be better soon yeah I will and I just want to say don't forget to visit my Instagram because I make more cool content right there and don't forget to visit my TikTok okay and don't forget to share this video to your friend yeah maybe they can make it too after watching this video so yeah thank you one more time thank you and I'm KFU see you next time bye bye pew, pew, pew.